What's up everyone? Welcome into another video here on TP Golf. Today we're here at Deer Run, one of my favorite local golf courses. I just found out that they have aerated the greens within the last week, so putting could be iffy, but we're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna jump right in, play the front nine. This is a beautiful golf course, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can make some birdies and uh, see if we can go low. Let's do this. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, like this video, turn your notifications on. We're just getting started. Speaking of which, let's get today's round started. Sorry, there's a lot of commotion going on. Had a guy on a tractor cutting the fairways and then had a guy on the first tee that I don't know what he was doing, but so I hadn't been able to talk, but sitting here in three, see if we can get this close and save our part. I'll show you guys the flags here at Deer Run. Pretty cool. What a bad bunker shot. Uh, the bunkers here don't have a lot of sand in them. So, the bunkers don't have a lot of sand in them, so they're very firm. So it's hard to get a lot of spin out of it. You gotta, you gotta clip it really good. So this would be a huge par save right here on the first hole. Let's see if we can make this. About 10 footer downhill, breaking a little left to right. Let's put a good stroke on it. Big far save there. We'll take it. Huge par save there. We're on to the second hole and uh, it's a beautiful day here in Alabama. I think the high is like 75 today. It's like 72 right now. Can't ask for anything better than that. Just an absolutely gorgeous day. On to hole two. Today this hole instead of 370, the tee boxes are all moved back about one full back so this is probably playing every bit of 390 a little uphill so and into the wind so this holds a solid 400 yards a day hole two as you can see i want to take it right over these trees and the fairway kind of dog legs just a hair back to the right so honestly just aim over that tree and let's see if we can hit a good one Couldn't hit that much better, boys. That was probably about a two yard draw, dead straight. We should be in good shape. I'm feeling three quarter, 48 degree wedge. Keep the speed through impact and uh, let's see if we can hit one tight here. Good boys. No. 
All right, pretty poor shot there with the wedge. Uh, just starting them off, aimed right, and I just I got to get my alignment set up and aimed at the hole. So we were pretty much pin high. Just alignment's a little bit too far to the right right now. This is about I'd say a solid 20 yard bunker shot. That I'm gonna really need to fly all the way there, especially if I have a lot of spin on it. So let's see if we can hit it. Let's see if we can hit a good one here, boys. Save another par, hopefully. One of the better bunker shots I've hit in a minute. Good speed through the ball. I'll clean this up and uh, next time you see me, let's be making that putt. All right, we got about a four footer left here. I feel like it's pretty straight. I don't think we can give away the hole, but the mountain moves from left to right. So I think it will move up, up just a little bit. Another car, boys. All right, we're gonna aim down this car path. Let's see if we can hit a good one. That was perfect, boys. 123 we slightly missed the fairway we're just in a light rough here but i'm gonna hit a pretty much baby pitching wedge a good half swing p-dub is the club here and uh let's put a good little swing on it Three for three bunkers. Nice. This isn't going to be an ideal stance or lie. The ball kind of come out of its egg lie and has left a lot of sand behind the ball. So, not going to lie, this is going to kind of be a tough shot, but we got a lot of green to work with. Maybe just try to land it short of the pin and maybe it'll roll up there. So, definitely need to get the wedges dialed, but. Hopefully we can hit another good bunker shot, and if we can do that, then save another par. Yeah, this ball is pretty good below my feet. The camera might not show it, but I'm going to really have to go down after this ball. wasn't terrible honestly I probably looked like I was chopping down a tree right there ball where do you think you're gonna put a tree that big <laughs> bend over and I'll show you but the mountain is over here and everything feeds from that so it might hold it up I'm not sure but I gotta go what this putt looks like it does, and it definitely looks like it's going left. So I'm thinking like right lip, a good firm putt. Oh, I smoked it. It did go left too.
That was a bogey. Honestly, with wedges in your hand, you can't be doing what I'm doing, but you also can't keep hitting that many par putts or even putts from that length. So it's gonna bite you eventually. So I hope that we can, on hole four, get something going, keep hitting the driver good. Driver's going really well and just gotta get the wedges dialed in. So uh, yeah, let's uh, maybe try and bring it back and uh, get it back to even on hole four. Hole four here. We're gonna aim right over these gold tee boxes. The trees over there is where the dog leg starts, and then it's the dog leg right. So it's 402 on the scorecard. Everything's moved back a little bit today, so this could be 415 today. Dog leg right into the wind. We're gonna need a good drive here. Hopefully just out down the middle. Go. Fish. <laughs> All right, that was that was pretty solid right there. I could have been a little more aggressive and took it more down the right side, but if you do flare one right, you're OB, so you have all the room in the world to miss over here, so that's why I took it down the middle and still gonna have a wedge in, so that was a good start. Cleared that mound, and we made it to right here, so I definitely had enough, even into the wind, to carry those trees, but if I miss hit it at all, or a little bit leaked it right, then we could have been OB, and we just trying to put it in the fairway and have a good wedge in to hopefully make a birdie and get it back to even par. We've got a middle pin because I played it down the middle. We've got a little bit farther in than I'd probably wanted. We got 142, but still a good number for a little nine iron here. And uh, let's hope to get the tempo going and hit a good one here. Just kind of how the round's going right now. Driver's been so good and then not executing on the irons and wedges, so I don't know really what's going on right now, but we'll hopefully figure it out and hopefully get this up and down. Go, go. Definitely a little slower than I thought it would be. I normally would line that up, but I didn't. Bogey it is. The wind has definitely picked up, so. Take a really good one, honestly, to get it in over the corner. But we're gonna try. Man, that was perfect.
surface, please go. Go. I couldn't have hit it any better. Well, I mean, I know we're in, but I don't know how good it is, but I think, I think we're really good. Dang it, boys. Here's the tree. On that line, see if you go that way, it's probably 20 yards closer just to hit it right there over that mound in the fairway. But taking it on this line, really got to hit a good one. And I mean, I felt like I hit it pretty solid, but ball's already not carrying like it was in the summer, obviously. I mean, it's decent weather today, but there's no humidity. It's 69 degrees right now, so I, I needed the full carry there. <laughs> So let's hope we have to lay up. We can punch something down there to where those guys carts is. Because there's a pond before the green. So if it was the fact that I could just roll it up, I would hit something super low and get it up there as far as I can. But there's a pond there. And then there's also a pond on the right. So you got to lay it up here to a good number. Wedge it in. And let's hope to get our first birdie of the day. seven the wind is a touch hurting and across now um, I think it's probably playing closer to 115 so this is gonna be just another this should be just a little half peed up shouldn't have to hit it too hard but I definitely got to make sure that I get it there because we don't want to be short again we got to give ourselves a pretty putt Super tight. Looks like 15 feet at least. Should be breaking to my left, so we're definitely gonna play this about a ball right and hope to have good speed. Whether this drops or not, let's get our par and get out of here. Hopefully, it falls. Good line, not not great speed. All right, we got 124. First hole we've had downwind today. We need to take advantage of it. This should be just playing like the same number on the last hole, just a half speed of. So. green or in the fringe either way we're potting we'll take it wind is really picking up now We're in. It's gonna be a little bit down the left, but we are in. 
Got 126 in. Um, kind of going to be a tough little shot here. I'm going to have to just aim kind of to the right of the flag because from my angle, I'm kind of blocked by these trees a little bit. And then there's a bunker that's just left of that pin. So I really can't go left. But from the pin to where those guys are, I can pretty much miss anywhere in that place and have a putt or a chip. And uh, that's the goal here. I'm gonna hit a little knockdown nine iron here. Wasn't great. I knew the lie wasn't great, but I really felt I could pull it off and just turned it over, hit behind it. All the good stuff, but I'm showing y'all it all today. The good, the bad, the ugly. I have left myself probably the hardest bunker shot I've had in a minute because it's downhill, running away from me. No green to work with. We just got to throw it at the hole, hope to have a lot of spin on it, and somehow make the comebacker. You know what I said about hole two, that being the best bunker shot that I'd hit? That's hands down. The best bunker shot I've hit in a minute. It's definitely better than even hole two. The difficulty on that was like nine out of 10. And I'm not, I'm gonna be truthful myself. That was, that was an A right there. <laughs> That would have been a disappointing bogey to <laughs> Glad I made that. Great par save. Great par save. Honestly, guys, that was one of the better par saves of the day. Uh, irons have let me down, wedges and irons. I have definitely struggled, but driver's been good. Bunker shots have been really incredible. And putting hadn't been terrible, so if I can just hit some iron shots, we'd have a chance here, but. Here's hole eight. Yeah, if I can just get the irons and wedges going, boys, then uh, we would definitely have something cooking. It's been a north wind all day. It's a pretty good little chilly wind, and ball hadn't carried well plus I just hadn't hit it great with the wedges and iron so this one I gotta respect it throw it past the flag and just give ourselves a pot let's execute let's finally execute a good wedge here it's gotta go I think oh my gosh Barely cleared the water. Try and put a good one on it. Kind of seen that coming. Disappointing bogey. We have one hole to go. Looks like we're ending on the par five. Maybe make our first birdie of the day and hopefully get it back to a couple over.
You know what I said about hole two, that being the best bunker shot that I'd hit? That's hands down. The best bunker shot I've hit in a minute. It's definitely better than even hole two. The difficulty on that was like nine out of 10. And I'm not, I'm gonna be truthful myself. That was, that was an A right there. <laughs>